Hello everyone, we are back for our third section of this test loop. I know it's not exactly apples to apples every time this section here, we usually go to the outlets where we come to build more forest. When I do the test on my own, we always come to build more forest here. And when I do tests with someone else, um, we uh, do tests with, uh, from, yeah, sorry. That guy messed me up. Um, we do tests from the outlets if there's multiple people and then from Biltmore Park if it's just me usually. But um, this gives us, a, it allows us to compare these same routes uh, like over a couple versions. Let's see. So this is only a little bit different from a route. Instead of turning in back beside REI, should not have braked all the way there. I probably thought this was in the way on screen. Now what I was gonna say, I wish I had it enabled for that guy back there to see if it would have braked for the guy walking out. Ooh, then <laughs> notice that car? That car crossed the yellow line just like my car did. Just like my car did, it crossed the yellow line. No, I need to get... Okay, so that was a disengagement. Got in the wrong lane. That was a, that's a routing issue. Also, it doesn't need to go straight. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. So that messed me up here. In 500 feet, turn right onto Columbine Road. So clear routing issue. It wasn't even following nav correctly at all. It's not even a map issue. It was just straight. It was just like let's turn right too early, basically. Now turn right onto Columbine Road. So this essentially starts the same as the previous video. But we're going to count that previous disengagement just because it that, that seems to be a better, it gives more technical, technical stuff to do versus just kind of coming out onto this road here. Uh, though we did have a zero disengagement drive previous time we did this. So that will uh, prevent that from happening. But that, uh, that's fair game. We're gonna change it up. It needs to slow for the speed bumps a little bit. Like down to 20 and then back up. It might be just the average assertiveness here that I've, I have set, but it seems to come to the stop signs much smoother and my preferred way of stopping at a stop sign is like half a mile an hour creep a roll if you will and then it goes the rest of the way through yep. that, again good stop sign they really need to add waypoints I mean this, this like everyone's doing this now we have thousands of new people with the beta and now everyone is like, oh, let's go re-navigate. And like, that is actually really dangerous. Um, like, honestly, it's just um, like, it, uh, you can't just stop in the middle of the road and just be like, oh, herp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. like, no, it, we need waypoints. Like, we've been asking for that for literally years. And like, I don't understand why Elon didn't think it was such a big deal to have waypoints. Like, beta makes it even more critical that we have waypoints so it's just something we need to have because it will improve the safety of everyone's driving not sure why we're so far to the left right here it's not like this is a single lane road it could be because we're taking a left up here looks like they finished the construction right here that they had last time they were building this pillar i guess Finishing the sidewalk. Okay, brake for no reason there. It's too slow around that corner. Not like that car coming around that corner. 
version seems really, it could be placebo based on what I'm reading from everyone else's chat, but it just seems a little bit squirrely. It's a good description for it. It's really uh, kind of random, random bunch of movements. It's not as autopilot-like, if you will. This, like, honestly, that seemed pretty good. Um, more aggression, less, a uh, more smooth break. That was good. Improved acceleration out of the out of the turn. I do wish this car was actually going the speed limit. They were going like 38, 40 mile an hour, and the speed limit's 45. And they're in the left lane going under the speed limit. Yeah, this light up here is where we're gonna change lanes. We're gonna see if it gets into the turn lane at a correct time. Just turn on the blinker, good. Now turn left onto East Road. Obviously, hard brake. It's yeah, that that was definitely worse than 10.1. I'm sorry, 10.2. Definitely worse. Wait. Oh, it's 10 point... Yeah, it was 10 point 1. Um... Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to check my safety score after. Like, that stuff, type of stuff is actual BS if that affects my safety score. Because this didn't get over. Like, it didn't slow down. Like, that's not my fault at all. Like, that's what's gonna take me off with... If I'm actually using my insurance based on the safety score, it's a little horseshit. Gonna have to mute that out. But um, you know what I said. Uh, but feet, you know, plus, your destination will be on the left. It definitely seems to be route quicker, which is good. That helps. That helps a lot. But you know what would help bet more? Waypoints. Yeah, that would help even more. It seems a little bit more hesitant on this road. It could be the leaves on the road. That was a full break for no reason right there. And so I pressed the accelerator to keep it going. No cars coming, we're good to go, and it goes out. I like this behavior. Uh, instead of just, uh, go, it speeds out and then goes up to normal speed. Oh. And then what it doesn't do is it speeds out and it like keeps on accelerating, like full acceleration. It noticed that speed bump a little bit too late there. Okay, so there's no way you're ever gonna go 20 mile an hour over a speed bump like this. And that was definitely a disengagement. I had even turned it down to 15. And it still wasn't slowing down the 15. It was, you have to go 10 over that speed bump. Um, actually, let's make sure that's recorded. Not a stop sign here, at least not that I can tell. It doesn't need a blinker here. This is just a continuous straight. This is, this is definitely worse than 10 point. I think it was 10.1 when I went through here alone. Yeah, it was 10.1. Yeah, as you can see, it's still not slowing down. You got a sign like that, you should slow down because there could be a police car up ahead with it and then you're screwed. This is why it just needs to slow down quicker. It used to do that in the early versions. I mean, it's like, okay, we're gonna make it smoother. Oh, you made it too smooth. It needs to like, not you know, jam on the brakes, but it needs to like, r fairly rapidly slow down. I mean, like, two mile an hour a second. It definitely, again, seems improved with stop signs and stop lights when it comes to a stop. Overall, it seems to be smoother coming to the stop and then accelerating after the fact. That definitely, that's one noticeable, consistent improvement with 10.3. I'm not even sure the change logs showed anything to do do like that, but it, it works. 
Okay, it's breaking too hard. It might have been because of that tree. The shadows, it's not really not liking the shadows. Oh, it was on the wrong road. Interesting. Okay. It's GPS accuracy. That's what's going on here. Okay, let's see how it does through this. Every time we come through here, it's made it. Yeah, it failed. This is worse on this this particular drive again. Worse. Sad to say that this is the first time it's ever not made that intersection. I think it's because of a GPS accuracy, at least it, it appeared to be that way. Okay, I'm going to press it through the yellow light. It still wants us to give like confirmation for flashing yellows. I, why are you... Stop stopping, come on. <laughs> it's just, it's like, it still sees the yellow light in the screen. It's like, even though I know it can't see it. Like, the car cameras are past the yellow light. So it can't see that light. And so it just tries to latch onto the yellow and it's still trying to brake for it for some reason. There's a car coming here so it shouldn't go. Now it can go. That's good behavior. That was a good turn. It just seems, stuff like that seems to be improved with this version, but then you have complete mess ups like going through that intersection wrong. Uh, and then like, there's all the various things, just this version, again, it's two steps forward, one step back, and it might honestly be two steps forward, two steps back, depending on the area. Oh, darn it. Um, that was a good turn on this one. And maintain speed going up the hill, that was good. seems to be more confident coming through here around the turns so maybe that's an improvement we'll have to watch out for that seems that it can go faster around curves now I'm really hoping so I've been waiting for that for a while see what it does right here every time it seems to get too close to the curb that's better it's, it rides the yellow line better I, I like that actually I don't know why it's stopped like that it actually does need to be in the right of these turn lanes. it should have been in here we'll see if it can correct itself Car actually is braking in a way that is making me car sick, and I can, they can, you can tell it's making make my doggy in the back car sick. He finally, if you saw him in the in the a mirror up here, he got rid of his cone. It's been three weeks since his surgery, so the last couple of days we've been going without the cone. He still licks it occasionally, but um, otherwise it's it's healing up pretty well. Okie dokie, let's see if it can correct itself automatically. Now turn right onto the Brake too side. hard there, brake too hard, but it, it got in the correct lane. That was good. Transitioning between points seems to be something that... Um, seems improved but then at the same time doesn't seem improved but again this is a repeat of the it accelerates quickly to get out 
but then doesn't just keep on accelerating harshly. It should be braking already, but it's not. It's like it sees a yellow light, and it's like has the logic like, well, I could probably make it if I keep on going. Oh no, it turns the red brake. <laughs> like it doesn't like. As soon as it sees a yellow that far back, it should start braking. Uh, I guess that it has to learn that logic that like we know if we're that far back and it's yellow, we're not gonna make it. But the car thinks, oh well, there's a chance I could make it. Like statistically, if you want to put in statistics, which is what the computer is gonna use, and there would have been like a one percent chance of making that like. Because you can't, you can never tell how long the light's gonna last. But if it turns yellow and you're going a certain speed, you're gonna go right through it. That's why a lot of people accelerate going through a yellow light. Not get in the left lane here. We've learned that the left lane is a turn only lane up ahead, so it needs to stay in the right lane. Okay, besides the earlier times where it tried to get in the left lane, it this is an improvement in this right here. It did not try and get in that left lane this time for the turn lane. So that got improved. And it might be because I pressed the camera button, maybe they reviewed it and it's like, okay, don't get in the left lane here. Or it might be the logic's improved that it sees a left turn lane marker and it's like, okay, this is definitely a left turn lane. We're going straight, don't get in that lane. See if we can get in the correct lane here. Left lane. Now turn left onto Patton Avenue. Okay, again, it has all these weird brakes, and then it's like, okay, then we're gonna go. It has like a rough brake, and then it kind of. I'm pressing it forward right now because I should be closer. And that that behavior is kind of making me car stick in this version. Something that currently seems to be improved with this version, it no longer thinks, hey, let's go around this car. Okay, we need to, I think those peop people made it hesitant. Uh, okay, I jinxed it. <laughs> I jinxed it bad. Um, also, it's, look at this. Okay, why did I jinx, oh, come on. I jinxed it. It, it I don't think it did this at all. Okay, maybe it did it once earlier today. So a lot going on. But I don't know why it's wanting to do this. I'm like... Okay. Good white turn on that. That's what we want to see. Another right turn coming up here. I just, yeah, I just... Oh my god. Okay. I don't know what these jerks are doing. The, not people, the, the jerking movements are. It is. It, something seems so smooth like that turn, and like you go around that other turn, it's just like, holy crap. It just like breaks for no reason. Now turn right onto Battle Square. Okay, it looked like it was gonna turn into what? Whoa! I need to review that, but I think it just I must somehow put it in reverse by accident. That's wow, okay. That shouldn't have happened. Um gonna go ahead and in the drive. Hi uh, that's um okay. Uh that might have been my fault. I might have actually I swear I flipped it up though, not down. I need to review that closely. That if that's a bug, that's that that's a problem. Okay, everyone. I'm gonna proceed, kind of get out of everyone's way here, and we'll go on to our blind corner test. <laughs> 